If you believe in miracles, certainly that it's a miracle. He is the authority on all things Green Bay Packers. Well, I don't want to sound too vain, but I can't imagine there's anybody who has done more research and spent more time researching. It's kind of been my, my life. Cliff Crystal watched his first of hundreds of games in person 70 years ago. Yeah, my grandmother got me interested in history when I was a young boy, eight, nine, ten years old. The Wisconsin native spent 36 years on the green and gold beat for four different newspapers. And in 2014, the franchise offered him the role as team historian, where he completed his opus. Certainly the most satisfying. The greatest story in sports, cramming 100 years of history into a four volume, thousand plus pages of print. The completion of it was a dream come true. Been involved in other projects that I found challenging and interesting, but nothing like this. But in Crystal's extensive research. As great our, our history is, it became a muddled mess. He discovered history and accuracy. So many of the stories are untrue don't necessarily go hand in hand. I mean, for example, the G, our G logo is not the original G. It was changed in the late 1960s. Vince Lombardi retired Paul Horning's number, but it's not been retired officially. So Crystal set out to myth bust. It's a lot harder to debunk a story than to tell a story. Fact checking source notes, microfilm, team minutes, ticket records, pre-Great Depression day score sheets to get it right. The challenge was kind of like trying to put the toothpaste back in the tube. In that regards, how proud are you that the real story of this franchise gets to be told through your work? Certainly, I took pride in what I was able to uncover. The history of this great franchise needed to be preserved and needed to be preserved accurately.